In this month's tooltip, I'd like to cover the morphing options. We have eight different options, pinch and punch, we've got ripple twirl, and then we have our skew options and our wave options. If we start with ripple effect, you can see that I get slider bars and I can adjust the amplitude or the size of the waves that are created in my shape. Isn't that fun? Or you can change the frequency from a lot of waves to a smaller number of waves. And let's, this lets you create really fun shapes. I can quickly click and create a sunburst with rippled waves. I could also create a shape beginning with the spokes of the star straight, select my design, and select the option to twirl. I can move the twirl factor, the slider bar, from no twirl at all to lots of twirl to create an entirely new design. With the star back in its original form, I could also use the option to pinch the star, and that will reduce the width of the spokes, pinching them inward, and I can drag the pinch factor from a, a little, <laughs> from a lot to little. I can undo that and go back to my original object, and this time I might choose to punch the star, and this will create a much larger spoke, and again, you can drag it inwards, which will make it thinner, and bring it all the way out again to create an entirely new star shape. I could take that then from a satin stitch to a step fill to complete my design.